Hello, my name is Aaron Schwartz. You're at the Aaron Schwartz channel. I would like to talk to you about the standard American diet or Western diet and the diseases of dietary excess. I'm not a doctor, though I am a scientist. And by eating like an American, I gave myself hypertension or high blood sugar or high blood pressure and type two diabetes or high blood sugar. I take metformin and lisinopril daily with my multivitamins. That being said, I wanna tell you the secret metabolic miracle that I discovered in 2017 that helped me to become more energetic, less sick, more vivacious, sharper, more intelligent, have more stamina and to feel better all the time. Now for some of you, especially physicians, you're going to have to turn your head completely around. Three meals per day is toxic metabolically. That's right. Eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner the way you've been taught is toxic. The food pyramid is a bunch of sick lies and misinformation. The government scientists have lied to you. Saturated fat and cholesterol are healthy. Polyunsaturated fat, when consumed, causes coronary artery disease. When it's cooked, it becomes carcinogenic. Researchers that want to give rats that are genetically similar cancer feed them refined vegetable oils, lesson oil and canola oil. They literally feed them vegetable oils to give them cancer. When you cook in vegetable oil or polyunsaturated fats, they're very reactive and they form side products or byproducts and those create oxidative stress in the body. Those stress your body with mutagenic and carcinogenic cell processes. The standard American diet causes dehydration, kidney failure, preventable metabolic syndrome disorders, primarily hypertension and diabetes type two. Many cancers are fueled by sugars and simple carbohydrates that break down into blood sugar. A lot of people experience fatigue because they consume too much sugar, too much fructose, not enough fiber, not enough vegetables, too much meat, serving sizes that are too large, they're not drinking enough water, they're chronically dehydrated, they're drinking caffeinated beverages with sugar, soda pop, eating candy, eating dessert items. In America, if you're fat and sick and on medication, that's considered normal. But if you, for example, do a diagnostic water fast for between three and 10 days, and then go to your physician looking vivacious and bright, your physician is going to assume you either have developed an eating disorder, cancer, or you're on drugs, psychostimulants, that cause you to lose body weight. There's lots of ways to lose body weight, but there's only one way to lose body weight where it firms and plumps up your skin, increases brain-derived neurotrophic factor, increases growth factor, human growth hormone, and actually clears out accumulated toxins from pollution, from artificial ingredients, from herbicide and pesticide, and other junk that's in the American diet. I know all about this as an American because throughout my 30s, going from 30 to 38 now, I became progressively sicker. My energy levels dropped off. My stamina endurance dropped off. By 2017, I was desperate. I was desperate for a solution. And I had been searching in vain for thousands of hours online on Wikipedia, and YouTube and elsewhere for how to cure my lovely wife Meg's type one diabetes. Now she uses a combination of techniques, a continuous glucose monitor called a Dexcom, blood glucose checks to calibrate the Dexcom with a finger prick test. And she doesn't eat breakfast. She eats lunch and a small dinner. And sometimes she skips dinner too. I want you to try eating one meal per day and going hungry. I wanna say that again. It's okay to go hungry. You're not going to die. Going hungry actually kicks off ketosis and autophagy. These are cell processes where your body begins to burn fats and to clear out metabolic junk, broken cell debris, and other accumulated toxins. So if there's one thing you take away from this video, all world religions have practiced fasting up until recently. You've been lied to by the government, by the food manufacturers, by advertisements galore on TV, on YouTube, the internet, 
everywhere you look, there's an advertisement for some high glycemic, blood spiking, sugar heavy, artificial ingredient imbued, garbage, junk food, quasi edible. Those aren't foods. Whole foods are broccoli, an apple, a carrot, cabbage, sauerkraut, fermented vegetables, meat, even butter, ghee, cold pressed olive oil, lard, if you can believe it, cooking in lard is actually healthy. If you want to cook in something toxic or use something toxic, get hydrogenated vegetable oil or hydrogenated cottonseed oil, which Procter & Gamble innovated in the 1960s while sending out a free cookbook for how to cook in it. It's called Crisco. It would be better used as an engine lubricant. In fact, it's so toxic, I would argue, and I'm half joking here, that it would be safer to cook your food in used vegetable oil. I mean, used vegetable oil has a bunch of burned products in it. Have you ever smelled vegetable oil from a fryer that's fried things multiple times? It doesn't just form acrylamide, which is present in french fries. When potatoes cooked in polyunsaturated vegetable oils, they go through an amazing amount of processing. They're an ultra processed food extract, not a food. Vegetable canola oil and Wesson oil, those oils have to go through so many processes that they end up smelling terrible at the end. And they go through a deodorizing process just to clean out all the nasty funk. I'm talking about they're running the vegetable oils through chemical solvents that are neurotoxic, if you'd inhale them. They're running these oils through industrial chemical solvents. They're stripping out anything natural. The product that exit is so refined, it has a lot in common with mineral oil that's derived from crude oil from the ground. So if you're gonna cook in vegetable oil, you might as well cook in motor oil or used motor oil. You're coating your food in toxin. Don't use vegetable oil, please use lard, use butter, use coconut oil, use olive oil. If you watch professional chefs in France where they have very little heart disease and at home in France where they have very little heart disease, they eat a lot of butter and their butter is 100% natural and organic. Incidentally, all food up until the 1940s was 100% organic. There was no organic versus conventional or biologique versus conventional if you're in Europe. All food was organic. There were no fungicide, herbicide, pesticide, artificial ingredients, artificial preservatives, artificial fertilizers. They didn't have soil runoff. They didn't have 10,000 acre monocrops. Those innovative technologies during the green agricultural boom out of the 1960s allowed huge mega corporations like Monsanto and Bayer to, to develop farms that are between 10 and 100,000 acres of the same thing. So naturally nature doesn't work like that. So it's completely unnatural. And then to combat invasive pests and other plants that wanted to grow there, they spray fungicide. And spraying fungicide during the day is why the bee colony collapse disorder exists. The, the French government actually sent a team of scientists and communicators to the United States as an envoy in the year 2000 to tell the US agricultural community, the farmers and agrochemical companies, that the reason we have bee colony collapse disorder is because they're spraying fungicide during the day when the bees are out foraging. And the solution is to put lights on the tractor and put it at night when the bees have gone back to their colony. Now, Americans eating excessive amounts of genetically modified foods coated in toxic pesticides made with artificial ingredients, ultra processed, junk foods, fast food. The standard American diet is the definitive medicinal cause of most disease. Now it's true that spiritual health is important. Social health is important. Mental health is important. Physical health and fitness and exercise. Those are all important lifestyle things. Staying hydrated is important, but think about the chemical input stream to your body. Food and what you eat and drink is the largest chemical input stream. You have a hole here and a hole where it exits. And in between, there's a hundred trillion cells of microbes. And what you feed those microbes 
is what determines what they poop into your guts. A lot of people have irritable bowel disorder. They've they got mucus coming out of their butt. And I'm not joking. I know what this is like. They have leaky gut from eating processed candy and junk food, from eating too late at night close to bedtime, from being stressed out, from not getting enough healthy sleep by going to bed early enough, by sleeping in and having sleep inertia, by being anxious and depressed and tired and frustrated. They watch the news and what do they see? Russia invading the Ukraine, bombing, murdering, killing innocent people who have done nothing wrong, senselessly committing war crimes because Vladimir Putin is a psychopathic murdering despot, worse than Adolf Hitler. They are senselessly killing children and women and innocent people who don't have weapons. They're bombing schools, train stations, hospitals, elementary schools, universities, churches. They're not taking out military targets. So when a normal person watches the news and sees this kind of stuff, or let's say they watch the evening news and they see the local guys who kill a shop owner or the police brutality towards criminals or criminals killing other criminals, we're, we're bombarded by a 24 hour day news cycle that's mostly dystopian. We live in a fallen, broken world. It says in the Christian Bible that I read in the New Testament that the world we live in here is Satan's domain. But if you're a believer and doer of a word, you can elevate your mind, your spirit, your soul, and the Holy Spirit within you to elevate yourself to not habitually sin, to live above, to be in the world, but not of it, to not be about it, to be with it, to make a positive difference, to help other people at, time, at all times, to be mentally strong, mentally awake, physically strong, physically fit, and morally straight or ethical, kind, nice, and respectful. You can elevate your thinking and become a brighter, higher functioning version of yourself. And if you want to do that quickly, I highly suggest you start fasting. And it would be really useful if you eat a whole plant-based diet or a ketogenic diet and go into a ketogenic state where you're peeing out ketones and use the Nurse Hattie's ketone strips in your urine before you try doing a 24-hour fast or a three-day fast or a five-day fast. And I wouldn't recommend fasting for more than seven days at home. Now, I've published a couple of different blog articles at priusblack.blogspot.com, but I want you to watch Robert Lustig, The Sick Truth About Sugar. I want you to watch Dr. Jason Fung videos about how the human metabolism works. I want you to watch Dr. Annette Bosworth videos about a ketogenic diet. And I most of all want you to watch Dr. Pradeep Jamnadez tell you about how fasting and a healthy diet can reverse most of the diseases plaguing industrialized countries, including India and China. See, India and China are now materialistic. They have more wealth. They are embracing the Western diet. And the Western diet is the causal basis of most diseases of civilization. Excess, too much salt, too much sugar, not enough fiber, not enough healthy fat, too much unhealthy fat, polyunsaturated and trans fats, chronic dehydration, excess carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates, excess sugar, serving sizes that are too large, eating too often, not fasting, eating too close to bedtime. These are all lifestyle mistakes that most people are making, unwittingly giving themselves medical diseases and disorders that are driving healthcare systems in America bankrupt. Literally, do you have pain in a joint? Do you have pain in your wrist or your hand or your elbow or your shoulder? Do you have pain in your back, in your neck, in your lower back, upper neck or middle back? Do you have pain in your hips or your knees or your ankles or your feet? If you have pain, you probably have swelling and inflammation. And the one thing that causes swelling and inflammation, excess carbohydrate and sugar consumption, excess alcohol consumption. You know, it's perfectly fine for adults to have one Standard drink, five ounces of wine, one 12 ounce beer, a, a shot and a half of hard alcohol, as long as they're drinking enough water to stay hydrated a few times per week or a couple of times per week. I'm not some zealot. I'm not telling you that having a candy or a dessert is wrong. I ate a piece of commercial candy last night, a single fun sized Babe Ruth and two pieces of black licorice. And I have metabolic disease. I have type two diabetes. I take metformin and I have high blood pressure. I take lisinopril or listen to Brill. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. In fact, I'm on a journey of learning. And 
Once I learned about the True North Health Center in California, I ordered their cookbooks and I've started adding more vegetables. I haven't even received the cookbooks. I started cooking and prepping more vegetables. Today I had a, a, a vegan, vegetarian, no animal products uh, soup. Now I did eat one hard boiled egg with lunch, but, but I had 32 ounces of this soup based on tomatoes and garlic and some herbs and uh, greens, green onions and, and pepper. And I made it in my blender, a blend tech. But I'm not saying I have the one size fits all answer. Different things work for different people. And what I want you to find is something that works for you. You know, a whole plant foods diet isn't just vegetables and fruit sometimes. It also includes raw nuts and seeds, never roasted in vegetable oil, no salt either. But it also means you can eat cheese and dairy, yogurt, heavy cream in your coffee. You can have oils, coconut and olive oil. You can cook in butter and ghee or olive oil or coconut oil. We're not telling you to embrace some kind of weird, ultra strict vegan diet, though Dr. Alan Goldhammer's had success with over 20,000 people completely reversing hypertension and, and type 2 diabetes without medication by eating that whole plant-based diet, which is mostly raw and cooked vegetables and not a lot of salt, only one gram per day maximum. Um, really, the trick to while fasting is to drink water, water fasting. Look up Dr. Bushinger or the Bushinger Clinic. Look up on YouTube the Science of Fasting video. Look up the full one. It's an hour long by Arte France is the, is the production company. It was uh, translated based on the works from the Russian Academy of Sciences between 1980 and the year 2000. Meticulous records at treating metabolic syndrome disorders, inflammation, diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure. Fasting isn't a cure-all. It's not even for everybody. Someone who has a low body weight, anorexia, an eating disorder, bulimic, probably not a good idea. I'm talking about healthy or sick people fasting for three days or five days, drinking three to six liters of water per day, clean filtered water per day. Your body becomes more sensitive to pollutants in the water. So you don't want to drink filtered water while you're fasting or steam distilled water or deionized water or something that doesn't have junk in it. You want clean water while you're fasting. What's going to happen when you're fasting is your body's going to start burning the visceral fat around your organs at a three to one ratio versus your subcutaneous fat in your skin. And your skin will tighten up. You'll start feeling vivacious. And I'll tell you the first three days are tough because all those toxins, all that accumulated plasticizer and heavy metal and junk. I worked at Batteries Plus exposed to sulfuric acid and lead and cadmium and stuff for eight years. I had so much junk in my body the first time I fasted for three days. My urine smelled like toxic waste. I'm not exaggerating. So you might get a little bit of a skin rash or a sore throat or a lesion, or you might feel a little off by day three, but I promise if you make it through to day four and day five, you're gonna start to feel vivacious. Make sure to drink enough water. If your electrolyte gets a little weird, add a, add a pinch of salt to your mouth, drink a glass of water. I wouldn't go past seven days at home if you have type 1 diabetes, please consult with a doctor that's familiar with fasting for diabetics. You're going to need to not use any short-acting insulin, and you're going to need to cut your long-acting insulin in half. And you absolutely, if you're type 1 diabetic and you're going to fast, you have to have a CGM system like a Dexcom or the Freestyle by Abbott or something where you can constantly all day check your blood sugar. And it's okay if while fasting, if your blood sugar climbs to 200 or 250, if you persist to not eat, it'll come right back down. And, and during that time, your body will go into a ketogenic fat burning trifueled state and start burning beta hydroxybutyrate or the ketone bodies. And your brain cells will convert from glucose processing to trifueling. And all of a sudden, brain derived neurotrophic factor will increase your cognitive function, your memory function. You'll become brighter and sharper. You'll be able to retrieve memory more easily. Do you know what the causal relationship between ADD, ADHD, Alzheimer's, and dementia are? Excess carbohydrate and sugar abuse. Too much food too often. The standard American diet is giving people cancer, heart disease, and all sorts of other metabolic syndrome disorders and autoimmune disorders causing pain and inflammation in their joints. And it's not just in America. We've exported this harm, this misinformation from the food pyramid 
to other industrializing countries. You know, China isn't a third world country like it was in 1980. It's a thriving industrial metropolis. They deregulated communism and introduced these fezes, free economic zones. And that's why there's that little golden oval saying made in China on so many consumer objects and, and, and things made in China. China became the world manufacturing hub uh, during the 90s and early 2000s. And, and even in Taiwan, like Foxconn, they, their factories are in China. And so they have supply chains set up that make it easier. And they have tax breaks. The government, the Politburo, the, the P CCP, the evil government of China, makes it really easy to set up a manufacturer and get uh, foreign laborers mostly. They import people from Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam. The actual Chinese people are the managers and the owners. The, the, average, the average income for the Chinese people has been on a steady rise. They, they're almost getting American pay. They're getting close. They're getting close with benefits and everything. They might have to work seven days a week, but they're getting close. Some parts of China are more expensive than many parts of America for homes, for cars, for food, for water, for natural gas, for gasoline, for diesel. You know, things are changing. China's becoming a world superpower and everybody knows that. It makes people nervous because the Politburo has a history of doing things like the Tiananmen Square incident where they rolled the military in and started executing college students and murdering random protesters that were asking for democracy. It's scary to have a despot country like China align with Russia when there's a nutcase like Vladimir Putin leading the charge. You know, he wasn't elected either. Vladimir Putin appointed himself the president of Russia. I know this has run on for a while, but I'm sure I'm not the only person that thinks about these things. And I want you to forgive yourself, forgive others. Don't go to sleep frustrated by this. I want you to be informed. I'm telling you the truth, the factual truth that I discovered by watching all kinds of doctors on YouTube, by reading Wikipedia for tens of thousands of hours. I searched and searched to find my teacher. And I did in Jesus Christ in the New Testament, in Romans and Ephesians. But in terms of the science and the metabolic science of how my body works, the way that God designed it, fasting sometimes a few times a year for three to seven days is like a reset button. It resets your body. And I want you to know that. I want you to read about it. I want you to watch videos about it. I want to compel you to edify yourself about fasting, interval fasting, and a whole plant-based diet that allows for some animal products, some meat, some fish, some dairy, sometimes. It's just less excess, more balance, intelligent, science, factual-based, nutritional information. I want you to learn the truth about how your body works, how your metabolism works, how your physiology works, what's good for your brain, healthy fats, what's good for your eyes, healthy fats, what's good for your skin and looking younger and plump, healthy fats, fasting. Those are just empirically true facts. And I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe. Most of my stuff isn't me ranting. It's mostly lifestyle stuff. But I really felt this one was important and I felt morally and ethically compelled to tell you because everybody needs to talk about this. This affects everyone's health. It affects their children. It affects their parents. It affects them. This is, this is about everybody helping to lift each other up with factual information so they can make intelligent lifestyle choices to revolutionize their health and wellness. That's what this video is about. That fasting and eating a whole plant-based diet, low in salt and sugar and no vegetable oil, that that can revolutionize your health. Thanks again for watching. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.